Kurt Cameron joins us now from California. Oh, oh, unbelievable. Oh, my God. How lucky are we, huh? Hey, Stewie, what are you doing tonight? Oh, nothing. Just watching Kurt Cameron. Oh, my God. Curtain up. You know, I had Richard Dawkins on. He's a bestseller of the, you know, God's Illusion. And I think I beat him in the debate because I basically said, look, you cannot explain to me how um, the world, the earth, got here. You just don't have it. You can blather all day long, but you don't have it. So, you know, to right. me, I'm throwing in with um, a, an oversight, a, a higher power that made everything happen. Um, and, and it was an interesting debate. But I know that I didn't convince Richard Dawkins about anything, and you're not going to convince these atheists tonight on Nightline, so why bother? Well, because of the fact that I was once an atheist, so no, I know how they feel and how they think. And when you're confronted with the evidence and you approach it with honesty and sincerity, it's a no-brainer. God exists, and that's what I'm hoping. People who are confused about the subjects because of guys like Dawkins will watch this and go, you know what, this is so simple, a child can understand it. All right, now take your best shot. Say, you're going to have a lot of atheists watching tonight on Night Lane. Yeah. You have some watching right now. All right, go ahead, take your best shot, convince the atheist there is a deity. Give me 60 seconds and I'll give it my best shot. I'm a pretty simple guy. I'm looking into a camera lens right now and I conclude that someone must have made this camera lens. It's pretty complex. Now, you have an eye that has 137 light sensitive, million light sensitive cells, far more complex than this camera lens. If the camera lens can't come together without a designer, neither can your eye. Design proves to a guy like me that there is a designer. Nothing becoming something, blowing up and becoming an organized everything, just doesn't fit logic to me. Plus, Darwin said in order to prove evolution, which is the number one alternative to, to God, you've got to be able to prove transitional forms, one animal transitioning into another. And all through the fossil record and life, we don't find one of these. A crocoduck. There's just nothing like it. <coughs> Darwin said in order to prove evolution, which is the number one alternative to, to God, you've got to be able to prove transitional forms, one animal transitioning into another. And all through the fossil record and life, we don't find one of these. A crocoduck. There's just nothing like it. But then they're going to come back and they're going to say, look, over the um, course of civilization, um, there really has never been a demonstrable proof of a deity. And you say? Oh, but there absolutely is. Like we, we said, um, the fact that you can see uh, the complexity of design within the natural world demands that there must be a designer. Einstein said that. Uh, Dawkins has been answered. Uh, this, the, the fact that a painting proves there must be a painter, 100% absolutely, the human body proves there must be a designer because of its complexity and because of the information we can see down at the DNA level. It's interesting. There is the, no argument, other yeah, the argument you're making is interesting. It's along the lines of my argument because I say, listen, sun goes up, sun goes down. Tide comes in, tide comes out. There's no miscommunication. Yeah. There's a storm. There's regeneration. And it would be in a... a a leap of faith far beyond believing in Jesus or Buddha or Allah to think that it just accidentally got that way. So that's where my faith derives from reason as yours does.